All right, guys, now we're going to do the problem rocket height, which says that a rocket initially at rest on the ground accelerates upward with a constant acceleration of 44.1 meters per second square. The rocket accelerates for a, for a period of 10 seconds before it runs out of fuel. Then the rocket continues its uh, ascent until the motion is halted due to gravity then uh, the rocket enters a free fall. Now they want you to find the maximum height that the, rocker, that the rocket achieves. Ignoring air resistance and uh, assuming constant acceleration due to gravity of 9.81 meters per second square. So to understand this problem a little better or better explain it, you gotta see that uh, the rocket basically goes three phases. I mean there's three points on the rocket trajectory. This is the point one, which is when it first takes off on the floor. This is point two, which is when it exhausts its fuel. Still going up. It's going up. It's going up, but it just ran out of fuel, so it stops accelerating. And then eventually, gravity kicks in which we get to point three gravity kicks in and it stops going upwards and then it starts falling so basically what they want you to, to do is find the maximum height achieved by the rocket so let's see what we're given we're given the acceleration which is from one to two from here to here is 44.1 meters per second square and the acceleration from 2 to 3 from 2 to 3 is gravity which is negative 9.81 meters per second square now we know that t from 1 to 2 is 10 seconds and we know that the initial velocity is 0 because it's initially at rest. Now first we're going to use the equations of kinematics from 1 to 2 to figure out how much is this? Let's call it H prime or Y. So we know that Y is equal to Y naught plus V naught times T plus one half AT squared. This is from 1 to 2. So we know this is 0 and we know it's initially at rest so this is 0. So we get y is equal to one half a t square, which means y is equal to one half times forty four point one times ten square, which equals two two zero five meters, which is this right here, two two zero five meters. Now we want to know the velocity at this point. What is this V? Well the velocity can be found with this equation. Final velocity what's V naught plus acceleration over time. So V is equal to this is zero. The acceleration is 44.1 and the time is 10 seconds. Which means that the velocity is 441 meters per second. Right here. 441 meters per second. And now we're going to use another equation of kinematics, which is v squared is equal to v naught squared 
plus 2 times a times delta y. This uh, equation basically relates the velocities, the acceleration, and the distance traveled. We, get, we got the velocity, the final velocity, which is the velocity right here, which is the velocity when it stops going up, of course, the velocity is zero. The starting velocity is the velocity right here, 441. And the acceleration is the acceleration due to gravity. So we got all these variables. So we got that zero is equal to 441 square plus 2 times negative 9.81 because the gravity is pushing the object down times delta y when you solve for delta y you're gonna find that delta y is equal to 900 9912.4 meters but this is the y from here to here as you can see 9912.4 is not proportional in the drawing so you're gonna have to picture it on your head so basically what you gotta do is add the two y values that we got to get 1.21 I mean sorry 1.21 1.21 times 10 to the 4 meters and that is our final answer